something I've been wanting to do for some time. It's been on my mind. This is kind of like the first shot at it to see. But in the tooling cabinet, I've got vices in large chucks. And so I had uh, Vivor send me a chain block. It's a half ton unit. The whole unit only weighs 20 pounds. And uh, I'll show you the, the parts that I made for Unistrut um, to uh, be able to pick the part up. So I've got a chuck down there. If I get it up in the air, I can hold it. But bending down and lifting something for this old man is uh, starting to get out of the game pretty quick. So I'm going to make future improvements in the shop for lifting things. And, uh, but we'll show you this guy lifted. Okay, well, show you my hands first. <laughs> Vivor, I just took it right out of the box and I hung it. And uh, they did a great job of making sure that uh, it wasn't going to rust. So I've got to clean the chain and things. And you can see my handprints on the unit up here. But uh, it's on a, uh, a roller. So I can, I can roll it as necessary, and uh, it's just the first beta version of it to try it, but it, uh, it's working out nice. Working out great. So uh, I'll show you the little track I made. Um, Unistrut actually sells trolleys for their product. Um, I had some, you know, I got a machine shop, so I've got different materials and stuff, and so I made my own little trolley. But uh, we'll uh, take that apart and I'll give you a view of what that looked like. One thing I forgot to mention is the this chain here, which uh, this, this uh, chain block has a 10-foot reach, um, so hence the uh, chain, actuating chain is 10 foot. So I will end up cutting this chain and splicing it so that it's uh, much shorter and not dragging on the ground because it's never going to lift the full 10 feet back here. So don't type what the hell you doing. Well maybe I should have done this before I went at it but uh, I got it here in a pan and giving the chain a good wash. And I'll clean up the uh, clean up the yellow case. As you probably saw and heard, I just lifted it here. I've got two hoists here in the main shop. One's a, uh, uh, I think it's a two-ton unit, a uh, three-phase power. It's electric. It's really nice to use. I did a video on it in the past where I had to repair the uh, brake on it. Um, and then I also have a uh, chain block type here, hanging here also. The merit of the chain block compared to the electric is the chain block you know, you can, you can slowly adjust, right? On the electric, you hit the go button and it goes. There's no, uh, or, or the down button and it drops. But uh, let me get cleaning here a little longer and then uh, I'll bring you back. Well, to just finish up on this unit, this is the, uh, this is the little trolley that I made that fits inside the 
Unistrut. Um, I was trying to figure out how I was going to attach the bearings and then I went online and looked at how Unistrut did it and they used roll pins and I had some small bearings and uh, this hook is from a uh, the uh, garage door spring um, that you get when you change out your garage door springs and I keep everything I tell you anyway it was a fun little build worked out nice you know using the press little arbor press to press the uh, pins through the bearings middle slot for the uh, hook to go into um, didn't show it anything it's just it was kind of just uh, wing it as I, as I went but uh, hey real happy with it and uh, you're gonna see this uh, this hoist get used uh, in the shop here in the future it uh, works very well I'm really happy with it and you can see I got the uh, the grease cleaned off of it it's, it's nice and shiny and yellow is my favorite color all right I hope you guys enjoyed a little quick video here of a shop improvement for an old man and uh, we'll catch you soon Thanks for uh, stopping by the shop. Well, I thought I'd just show you. It came in a box wrapped in this plastic. You can see all the, the grease. Chain block, half ton. And it came with operating instructions. <laughs>